Here's how to add complementary bound shaders to Minecraft 1.21.6. Now the first thing we need to do is download the shaders. For that, click on the second link in the description, which is this guide in here on how to install these shaders in case this video is too fast for you. But if you want to go straight to the point, come down to step one and click on complementary bound. That is going to redirect you over here, where you're going to select the game version 1.21.6. Don't worry, just select the most recent one, which in this case is 1.21.5, which is completely compatible with Minecraft 1.21.6. So go ahead and click on these three dots, hit download file, and within five seconds, the download will begin. And I want you to go ahead and place this file into your desktop. You can find this file in your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. Now, if you already have a shader loader in your computer, let's say that you already installed Optifine or Iris, just go ahead and add these shaders into your game and you're done. But I'm assuming most of you don't have a shader loader and that's why we're going to install Iris. For that, click on the third link in the description. Again, quick article in here on how to install Iris in case this video is too fast for you. We also have a video on how to install this already for Minecraft 1.21.6. But if you want to go straight to the point, go down to step one, click Iris shaders. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to click download universal jar and now begin the download right away for the installer of iris and just like we did earlier go ahead and place it in your desktop right next to your complementary unbound shaders for the next step you need to close your minecraft launcher as well as your minecraft game just make sure that you have run minecraft 1.21.6 vanilla at least once on your computer and then go ahead and double click on the iris installer which is going to open this menu right here select minecraft 1.21.6 and then just go ahead and click install down here now if you guys weren't able to open the installer for iris that's because you need to install java 21 java 21 is required for any minecraft above minecraft 1.20 that five whenever you're trying to install mods and stuff like that so i'm gonna leave you guys an article in the description to install java 21 and then be able to open the iris installer now once you install iris go ahead and close the installer it's gonna say completed down here and now you could delete the installer from your desktop because you won't be needing that anymore for the next step it's time to add the shaders into the game for that you're gonna go ahead and open your minecraft launcher and if you did everything properly you should have iris and sodium selected here automatically as 1.21.6 you could also see here under installations just make sure you have modded selected without modded you won't see iris in here and what you want to do next is just go ahead and launch the game using iris and sodium just go ahead and hit play if you get a prompt in here read through it and then hit play one more time if you agree and then just wait for the game to open now once the game opens it's time to add shaders let's go ahead and launch a single player world you could also add shaders to a multiplayer world and if you guys don't have a multiplayer server i'm gonna leave you guys the first link in the description 35 percent off with apex hosting to create a multiplayer server now once you're in the game to add the shaders all you have to do is press escape head over to options and then head over to video settings and select shader packs right here on the top that is going to put you in this screen and all you want to do in here is minimize your game a little bit and drag and drop complementary unbound from your desktop into the game that is going to load complementary unbound into the game and then once you see it in here go ahead and press on it hit apply wait a couple of seconds depending on your computer and your computer hardware and stuff like that might take longer than me and then once the shader has loaded just go ahead and hit done 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 back to game and you have a beautiful game now using complementary unbound as your shaders in minecraft you could also disable these shaders by pressing k on your keyboard as you can see and then you could enable it back by pressing k one more time and there you guys have it how to install complementary unbound from minecraft 1.21 that's six if this video helped you don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time